morning folks here's today's uh, soap of the day striped gold shave Clinton just got this in yesterday the soap looks like this it's not a, a super hard one by any means but it's not a crow you can push your finger in there it takes a little bit of effort doesn't take a whole lot to scrape it out and put it in a bowl I've got it whipped up here got a brush here from Frank he uh, put this knot in the this ever ready here beautiful brush <clears throat> got it whipped up here my smooth bottom red bowl here and you can kind of tell it's uh, No problems getting any lather out of this one, that's for sure. And of course, I also got the uh, matching aftershave. The scent on this, um, I'm going to read it here. Um, it's uh, verbena, jasmine, thyme, and leather. And uh, Frank has mentioned in one of his other um, uh, videos that he, he's trying to make a unique scents. In other words, not trying to remake a, a bay rum or, or some of the other more common scents that you know, a lot of people have, but uh, one that maybe most others don't have. And this scent is um, it's pleasant. I like it. I don't think I have anything here in my den that, uh, that matches this one. I can't... Um, you know, you'll have some of those notes that you'll pick up from other soaps, but all those combinations in this one here, like this one, I don't have it in, in my tin. <laughs> Not in mine. I've already put a hot towel to the face, uh, some bloom water. It's already kind of worked up there. And I'm going to go ahead and um, get started here. The shaver of the day is a PAL injectomatic, in other words, an injector from PAL and if I remember correctly I think this particular razor was made in the 50s maybe I have a I have this PAL injector injectomatic and also have the an adjustable PAL and I have shaved with both of them and I get good shaves out of injectors I haven't had an injector just yet give me a bad shave. In other words, not because of the blade. I was really fortunate, in my opinion, to get this one as cheap as I did. I think it was right around the $10 mark. And it is in really good shape. It even came pretty clean also. Didn't have to do a whole lot to clean it up. Pretty nice shave there. And I don't know if you can see that. It does say that on the front there. Right there it says Pile Injectomatic. We'll go ahead and get started with the uh, first pass. I had read where one person's opinion on the uh, about the razor in other words where does it compare maybe with a chic injector and uh, the gentleman that was uh, you know in his experience he felt like it fit in between a, a chic injector the um, the e and the g somewhere in between there if that helps anybody It's a pretty smooth shaver in my opinion. It's not I don't I don't feel like it's aggressive at all. I can still smell the scent of the soap. It's pretty cool. Because of my nose I don't always smell it. Yeah, I think I like this scent. Um, I don't remember how many he has left. Uh, it, it was maybe two days ago or three days ago. 
that he had um, three left. So if you're interested in getting this scent, if you that scent description sound like something you might be interested in, you might want to hurry. <laughs> I remember right, uh, I do remember seeing Nixon, and I think I saw Hoover. Hoover is the scent that comes close to uh, pairing up with a skin bracer. And uh, I have to say, it, it's, it was spot on. Just put the two together, yeah, you smell just, just great. And uh, Nixon is uh I think it has a lemon scent yeah if I remember right I I like citrus scents citrus uh especially certain times of the year it's uh it's one of those uh how can you say fitting for the year Depending on what you're, you know, you're used to, the, uh, I guess you might say the, the events that happen when you're growing up, and I know for me, certain times of the year, there's a lot more citrus going on than uh, other parts of the year, but it always seemed like throughout the whole year, for instance, oranges, tangerines, the peaches, fruit, in other words was always prevalent especially when you go to granny and grandpa's house stuff like that this is pretty creamy stuff this whipped up pretty nice didn't take a whole lot of effort there's a lot of lot of lather in there at least for two more shaves at least Nice shave. I, for me, I, I and you know, and everybody's experience is different, but I know for me, I get good shaves out of these razors. If you didn't quite catch it early on, that razor, I mean that uh, shaving brush there, uh, Frank uh, spruces them up, puts a new knot in them. He provides that service as well as a honing service for the uh, uh, straight razors. It's a smooth shaver. You don't see very many of these like on eBay or on Etsy. So if you're interested in getting one of these PAL injectomatics, I guess you might say when you see one you might want to seriously consider getting it. It seems like most of the ones I have seen are in really good shape. In other words, the corrosion around the head or whatever is minimal to non-existent. And for something that was made back in the 50s, you know, you're looking at close to 70 years old, roughly. They're in pretty good shape. The sand is still just rolling out of the soap. I mean, out of the lather here. It even feels really creamy and smooth going on. I think I'm trying to get something in my eye. Yeah, hopefully it's not soap, huh? <laughs> There's only been one time I got soap in my eye, and boy, howdy. He let me know about it.
Yeah, I have to say this is a unique scent. Don't think I've got anything. I don't. I mean, and you, you have those notes that you smelled in other soaps, but that combination. I enjoy injectors. It's the, uh, in my opinion, a lot of cases, it's uh, you just have to be careful when you're loading the blade. And I had, um, it was a Schick brand blade, and I had even noticed before I loaded it that the grind didn't look right. It was uneven. So I wasn't about to use it. <laughs> Even going against the grain has the feedback, but it's still, it's, doesn't sound, in other words, it's not, it's not as bad as it sounds. I don't know that Alan's going to have a whole lot to say about this shape. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty close. I don't try to get a BBS if I get it by accident. In other words, I don't put out the effort to try to get it. Yeah. I don't think, in other words, if there is a place that I'm going to end up with uh, any kind of stinging or anything, it might be right around here, and that's, that's kind of normal for me. Um, if it's not there, <laughs> down here on the neck, yeah, that's usually it'll end up somewhere. Boy, howdy. The scent, I can still smell it. one of those deals where I'm not accustomed to I mean it's different when you got something that with menthol yeah I can I mean not only <laughs> not only do you still smell it but you can still feel it on your face uh, this this I still sell, smell the scent of the soap that's not a in other words a, a usual thing for me that's, that's a nice scent Allen block complete with rubber band and yes, I have to rubber have to have that rubber band, otherwise uh, it'd be in a million pieces. Right there. That's the only stinging I got, and I don't know what I did there. Didn't I know when I was shaving? I didn't really notice it down there. When I get close to here, because it's uh, not only is the uh, the whiskers thick, but it's densely populated right there, and it's not unusual to get some irritation there. You know, back long, many years ago before I started uh, uh, Witch Hazel. This is the lilac. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, irritation right here on the chin, upper lip, because it's so densely populated was not uncommon. A lot of weepers. Very unpleasant. I can smell the lilac. I didn't think I could. That's pretty nice. My uh, oldest stepson came over yesterday and he'd been sporting a beard through the summer. Through the summer. And now he decides to shave it off. <laughs> and uh, he, um, uh, he, <laughs> his face was a little sore so he needed to come by and I, uh, borrow some stuff, so I gave him my witch hazel and some uh, Nivea. It's always great for when you have a rough shave. Nivea is a, that's a good product. Aftershave balm, good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and um, use the Clinton aftershave. Um, I have to say, 
I like this scent. It's um, it's very much present, but I feel like it's smooth. Still thinking about the scent. It is. Um, I'm telling you, if you don't, if you haven't had a chance to get it, you ought to look into it. Oh, I know what else I was going to show you. For some, it may be a factor. Let's see if you can see. That's what the restrictor looks like. It's not real big, so you're going to have to work at getting it out. So you're not going to have a whole lot coming out, and where you feel like you're wasting it. Um, yeah, you wouldn't want to waste this one. Boy, this is a really nice scent. Um, Gosh, I'd almost have to say this is the mo my most favorite out of the whole lineup. Hoover was pretty good, and I like the Nixon. I like the Lemon. But, uh, wow, I have to say this is probably my favorite. It's a good thing it's a waterproof label because I just got it wet. At any rate, this was Soap of the Day, Start Gold Shave. Frank did a great job on this one. Really like this one. Hope everybody's staying safe, staying hydrated. It's still hot and humid around here. Till next time, smooth shaves.